I remember waking up to a text from Geneseo saying something on campus was happening. I don't know, I just started like texting people to be like, hey, does anyone know what's going on in Geneseo? What's going on? Because I obviously wouldn't assume the worst. I woke up from a phone call. All she could manage to say was, Kelsey was killed. I was just like, no, you're mistaken. Like, that didn't happen. Something had happened at the house. Once there, police found three bodies inside. 21-year-old Kelsey Anise. It just didn't seem real in the news. And she's not this news article. Here comes the famous Kelsey Anise. When she was born, she was born with the cord around her neck, and she wasn't breathing. And the doctor and the nurse had to take her away and revive her. And uh, so we were given a gift for almost 22 years. It's just weird how, how it works that that was her last game. And Buff State, obviously, she played her, we all thought her best game. Everything happened how it happened. People getting in foul trouble and that she was given such a good opportunity. And anytime she got in, she would take advantage of it. And, she could just played her heart out, everyone could tell. We always talked about how when we grew up, we wanted to maybe teach next to each other, one classroom to the next. And then we really thought about it and we're like, hmm, you know, let's just teach in the same class. Split the salary. Job will be a lot more fun, a lot easier. She never saw anything as unachievable. So if she thought of something she wanted to do, she went out there and, and did it. We had some turbulence on our first flight. Yeah, but it's okay. When she went to Costa Rica in college, she was more homesick for some reason, but she stuck with it and came out a better person in the end. Well, when I was applying to college, colleges needed me to write an essay. That's one of the things she liked doing was schoolwork and writing. She wrote my college essay for fun. The class freshman year, first semester that she was doing worst in that she had to withdraw from was calligraphy. She was going to get like a C in it. It was going to bring down her GPA and it was just like fancy writing. It was New Year's Eve and I said, Kelsey, you have to come over and just meet my friends. She said, I'm not sure. We have practice in the morning. I think I'm going to go to bed. I was like, all right, I understand. Let me know. She texted me about an hour later saying she accidentally finished a bottle of wine. She's headed over and she was just hilarious. She was just one of those people that was always uh, ready for anything, no matter what it was. You always knew Kelsey would always be down to do anything. She was so fun. It was her freshman year at Geneseo. I call her up and I was like, Kelsey, you wanna go skydiving? And she was like, yeah, sure. Like, didn't even hesitate. Yeah, she was the best person ever to do it with because who else can you call up and be like, come on, let's go skydiving. And her just be like, yeah, sure. And <laughs> it was funny, she goes, yeah, I have the money. I'm just going to use my Wegman scholarship. I mean, there's a lot of embarrassing things that I can say with Kelsey. She's very awkward. <laughs> so just interactions with teachers and classmates. But one thing she was really weirdly good at doing was bending her back. She could bend her back and almost like touch her head to her butt. It was just the weirdest thing. And she would just whip it out in public. There was just, there were Kelsey things that Kelsey did. Like just her little, expressions and her like head tilt and just things like that. There are so many things that you just feel like typical Kelsey. <laughs> she would try everything. So she tried karate and then she took the electric guitar. She did cheerleading for a couple of years. She tried lacrosse, soccer when her friends needed her to fill in on a team one year. Basketball was what stuck and that's what she loved. Sports was the one, one of the main things that we had in common. So anytime we got a chance, we. Um, take a basketball to one of the courts and shoot around. When Kelsey was young, um, you guys used to always put on little shows for me. And Kelsey was usually the leader of the show, directing things and telling you or Dylan when you could come into the scene. Sometimes I get mad at her and sometimes I play with her. She's my little sister. Kelsey was a, a sneaky kind of sister because I think we had like an unwritten rule to where we wouldn't bother each other and we'd only, we'd only bother you. I don't think it's ever possible to cover the whole story about Kelsey. She was a very uh, large personality.